Hey writers, I am so excited to bring you a very special step-by-step -step tutorial on five book promotion tools for authors that I think you're gonna be really excited about because they are super easy to use. It's kind of crazy. Now I'm gonna bring up this next screen to let you know that many of you saw last week that um, I shared over 50 book marketing ideas for authors with tons of examples. And a large majority of them had to do with creating promo materials like 3D renders of my book cover, beautiful mock-up images like these, social media and website banners, promo graphics for my cover reveal, pre-order announcement, pre-order incentive, book description, early reader reviews, and so much more. All of these were created with bookbrush.com who asked if I'd like to not only check out their free tools, but also some of their paid features as well. And you guys, let me tell you, I am in love with this website. Not only can you create these kinds of promo graphics and mock-up images, but Bookbrush also has a book cover creator, which also does full wraps, a book trailer creator, and a 3D box set creator for those of us that are writing and publishing a series. If you're writing and publishing a series, let me know that in the comments because we are live right now and I am uh, could just show you everything that I've been working on so far, but I am super lucky today to have one of Bookbrush's co-founders. I'm going to bring her up on the screen. This is Kathleen. Everybody say hi to Kathleen in the comments. Um, and she is going to show you guys everything that Brook Brush can do, or as much as we can fill in like an hour and answer all of your questions. So hi, Kathleen. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. I am so happy to be here. Woo! In just a second, I'm going to give everything over to Kathleen. She's going to do her whole spiel, and there's so much goodness. I've seen some of her um, webinars before, and they are so detailed and so much fun. And But we are live right now. So if you guys have questions during the live, please put them in the chat. I will pull them up so we can answer them periodically. And if you're watching the replay, please put them also in the comments and I will try to answer them. Or if I see one that Kathleen can pop in um, at a later date and answer for you, I'm sure she'd be willing to do that. But one last thing before I give it over to her is I want to say that while you can always jump into Book Brush's free features right away, if you find that you would like to explore some of the paid features she's going to mention, don't forget to stay until the end because I'm going to be giving you an exclusive discount code because you guys are awesome. So I am going to bring both of us up here and give it over to Kathleen. All right. Well, I'm the marketing lead and customer service manager here at Bookbrush, and I'm going to share my screen because that is always way better to look at. So oh, let me yeah. get that rolling for us. And I'm excited to show you all the things that Bookbrush has to offer that we can fit in here in about an hour. So let me know if you can see the how to get started screen here. Yes, I can. It looks awesome. All right, wonderful. Well, we book, built Bookbrush as a tool for authors to be able to create your own eye-catching images for social media, and then we've added so many things along the way. So we are going to take time today for a little soup to nuts tour of the Bookbrush site. The first thing we're going to start with is the custom creator. So Brittany mentioned making your images for social media. That's where you can do that. So we're going to jump right in here in the center where it says custom creator. So we will dive right in. In the middle is an invitation to our Facebook group. So if you're on Facebook and would like to join and um, get updates on what we're doing with Bookbrush, see things other people created with Bookbrush, lots of Bookbrushy things, we'd love to have you join. And then over on the left is a full set of the tools. So here in the custom creator, this is our flagship tool. The first thing we built, you can create all those social media images, either from scratch or using community templates. So first we're going to do one from scratch and you have your choice. You just click through these different icons. There's Facebook and then you can scroll down and you'll see there are lots of different sizes, even within Facebook. There's Twitter. Instagram, Pinterest, BookBub. BookBub's real tiny. It's 300 by 250 pixels. So that one in particular, you'd want to make sure you're just using for BookBub. It can tend to look tiny um, and pixelated anywhere else just due to that small pixel size. And then other fun things in here like cards, business cards and postcards, as well as under other, you can design bookmarks and coasters too. So all those cool swag things for your readers. So what we're going to do is choose Facebook. I'm going to click on the Facebook icon and then choose Facebook ad size. So it's popped here into the workspace and it's 1200 by 628 pixels. 
And you can do the steps on the left here in any order. So we have background, book template, text, and images. I'm going to start with book template because while I know there are a lot of nice, a lot of other nice design tools out there, this is somewhere the book brush really shines because it's designed right for authors. So you'll see we have over 90 3D versions that you can put your book in and they're displayed with a sample image. So I'm scrolling a little bit. We talked about those cover reveals. We've got all those things. Children's book sizes too. And I really appreciate. Are, ooh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, no, go ahead. I was just going to pop in and say that I really appreciate that you do the cover reveal images because I've always seen people use those, and I'm like, that is so cool, and it drums up excitement. And I was always like, where do people get those? So I just love those. <laughs> right here in Bookbrush is a place to get them. So be, and here I'll show you where to find them specifically because there are a bunch you can filter here on the left. So there's physical book, and you'll see all the physical book options ebook and ebooks are positioned so they face every which way whereas if we jump back to physical book you'll see they don't show the spine and that's so all you have to do is drop in your easy peasy 2d cover and put it into these images you don't have to worry about a spine image ones with phones and then there is one for reveal so you'll see all those reveals that she was talking about and depending how revealing you want to be there's a lot of nice choices in there and cool things like other, you can put your book in a picture frame or a Polaroid picture too. So we're going to do just a quick ad real quick. We're going to choose ebook and you'll see all those different options in here. We can grab one. And if you had not loaded your book cover first, you can do it right here with drag and drop. I've got Brittany's book cover ahead of time. So we'll grab that. So you just click your book. When you see this spinning, it means the magic is happening here in the background for you takes a minute to load and probably faster when you're not streaming live so there we go now you can bring it here move it around in the image you can single click for some quick editing in this top gray stripe to resize if you want to and then you can go back to the left and keep working so we will go over here to background and in your options for background you can search for millions of free images or you can upload your own and if you're just stuck for ideas, you can also explore the sample searches like there's Flatlay, Beach, because, you know, it's summertime and abstract. And I love exploring abstract. So it's on the lower left and you can click see all. And it really gives you some interesting ideas that you might not have considered for your background. And so you can click and just add these different ones in here. Um, I didn't read the book. She did give give me the cover ahead of time, but I'm going by color and looks. Yeah, pretty much anything that has, that has water or pirates or uh, fantasy is good to go. So I kind of like this thing. It's, Ooh, I don't yeah. even know what these are, but it's pretty interesting. Um, and if you like this direction, but you could take the background, you could um, flip it the other way if you want to. Um, let me show you some things you can do with this one. So if you kind of like this, but you're not quite sure, you can double click for the full editing on the left and you can do some interesting things to tweak it. So one of the things I like to do sometimes is to do a little bit of color and then just simply adjust the transparency. So it can kind of give you a different look um, and change. So as we click through these different colors, this same background can look all these different ways. So you can take something and make it feel maybe a little more cozy, eerie, creepy, uh, mysterious, all those different choices. So that's an idea to do with some color and some transparency. Um, you can also blur which then brings your book cover into focus. So that can be a nice idea. And then I also like to explore the overlays and filters. So on the left, you'll see overlays and these go on top. And the one I wanna try has like a blue and a brown. And when you add that, you can then adjust the transparency on how you would like that to look. You can remove it with a click. And then the filters are just like when you post to Instagram. So you can try these different kinds of filters in here to see what you get. So lots of cool choices in here. Sometimes that black and white or the moon can be powerful because then your book cover is right in um, the color colored item. So you can try this. You can still go back to background and play around. I have so much fun with these kinds of things as you go through here. Um, I would not necessarily have thought of whatever this is to search, but the color is kind of amazing with that. So it's very dynamic. Yes, yes. You can have a lot of fun with these in here. 
So this is just abstract, but we will try. I'm going to go back to the water, I think. I think we like this one. Let's try this one. Um, now we're going to grab a quick text box on the left. So we'll go to text, add a new text box, and I'm going to type in here, um, what a page turner. So just a quick little quote. You're the authors. You'll probably have even more to offer here. And then you can move this wherever you want. You can single click for quick editing in the gray stripe, or you can click on the left for edit text styling, and you can do all kinds of cool things in here. I don't want you to miss under font, what I consider a hidden gem if you go to font. We have a lot of nice default fonts and they're each displayed in the way that the text will look. However, if you go to the top and click add more fonts, there are a thousand fonts to choose from in here. So you can really find something that will resonate with you in your genre. So we can filter here. Uh, I'm, I tend to go for display and handwritten. Love these. So as you go through, anything that you see and want to add, you can click and add to your list. So if you put a check mark next to it, it'll be in here for you. Um, a special note, this is also where you could upload your custom font too. So if you purchased a font that you want to use in your marketing, um, since, you know, if it's on your book cover and you want to keep that same look and feel, you could do that. All right, so we are going to check the ones we just added. So I kind of like this one because it looks a little bit like your um, font that you have. Yeah, that looks great. And then we're going to choose, I'm going to go to where the color is, and we're going to use our color picker. So I'm in Chrome, and when you choose the color, there's like next to this white circle, a little eyedropper. And when you bring it over, it will match perfectly whatever is in the center. So without knowing the color code, we can get that exact orange that she's got, you know, have right in your cover. And we could say, okay, let's make it bold. And then I'm going to change the text shadow. So here's no text shadow. Here it is with some black. We could change it to a little bit more of a gray if we want to. Center it. So you can do some really cool things with your text. You could move it all over the place. Um, and then on the text editing on the left, the top section is the text itself and the bottom is the text background. So if you want to do a background on there, you could easily do that too. So we just adjusted the transparency so that we can see it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna grab this because you can layer elements. So we're gonna send with these two little arrows in the lower right corner, send it behind there. And now we've got kind of a cool call to action here. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit so that it's in one line. And it's great because everything is flexible. So here I can just move, keep play. I moved the background a little bit. I can move this till you just spend all your time playing around and find something that you would really like here. And on the text, you can also do a quick border if you want to. There's a border there and the shadow is nice to give it some definition. So we've got our quote here for what a page turner. Then you can also go back to images on the left and you have three tabs, community stamps, my images and searchable. These community stamps are for everybody here. And then my images would be things that you want to add. So if you want a picture of yourself or um, some retailers we don't have, you can add those in my images. And then searchable gives you another 100,000 interesting things to um, add to your images. Under community stamps, let's say we wanted available at Amazon. So underneath it says more from Amazon. So you can try out the different colors. In this case, the white one would look good in the darker area, but not over here on the right. So we can use the garbage can on that. And we can choose the darker one and put it down here. So if you want available at Amazon, you can easily add that to your image too. So look how quickly we just made our first marketing image. If you're on the free plan trying things out at Book Rush, you can create and download 15 images like this um, just to get a feel for the tools. Um, what I would have you do is in the top stripe, save it as a project so that you can come back and make quick changes. Um, that's handy if you're wanting to do a split test on some backgrounds and try different things. And then when you're ready to download in the top stripe, you'll click download and your options are PNG, JPEG or a PDF. So that's your first image that we created. Um, let me know if there are questions or anything's coming in. We can take a look. Sure. Um, no, que ooh, 
no questions yet, but um, Gabriella was just saying, oh, wow, that was pretty easy and quick. And I'm like, yes, it is. That's my favorite part. <laughs> and um, you could exchange it so easily. If we went to background and we wanted to try like orange texture just for something totally different than um, what we went with, we could switch it up very easily. Ooh. I'm trying to think what we might like. I don't know about this hot lava um <laughs> are you, yeah, like you, the wood i saw the wood background somewhere in the front there i think yeah yeah try different things and see what Ooh. works and change your text and then in this case i'd probably change it to the white available at amazon yeah. um just back and forth but it's quick and easy to do and then you can save that as a project um you know what folks also like to do then is have the same marketing theme across different platforms so we chose Facebook, but we can pivot back to ad size on the left and we could do, say, Instagram. Click Instagram. Now, don't yes. worry. Everything's here. Um, we'll just use I'm using there's an eye icon, like an eyeball over here on the lower right to show you what's outside the area. So we'll just rearrange lickety split. I'm going to take my text, reduce the size, bring in my Amazon. And so we've got the same look and feel here, all the same elements, and then we can download this one and then you could do Pinterest and so forth. So it helps you to stay on brand because you're using all those same elements to create additional images for the other platforms. Yeah, that I love that feature that it just goes in and out of all these different kinds and you don't have to like recreate it from scratch. So I just like every time I do like one or two big changes, like I'm trying something new, I just save the project again. So I have like all these duplicates of all these things, but it's so easy to like, mess around with it without losing your uh, progress. Absolutely. And then you could do a little house cleaning later and clean out the projects you don't want, but you may find one of the first ones is a nice starting point for later too. So um, it is sometimes nice to have those multiple versions in there. Definitely. All right. So this is if we create one from scratch. I also want to show you our community templates. Those are for everybody and it helps you get kind of your creative juices flowing. So on the left, we can click on templates and projects and the my projects tab are the things that you saved for yourself in your account. So these are the ones that we made. If you go next door to the tab that says community templates, these are for everybody. And so we have a graphic designer who puts together all kinds of great choices and you can filter too. So on the left, you can filter by genre and you can actually do multiple. So if you need fantasy and sci-fi, you could choose both. I don't want to miss anything. So I feel like we'll look at everything. Um, and under platform, this is, I guess, another hidden gem in my opinion. You've got everything from Facebook ad bookbub ad all the way down to things for street teams, author pages, bookmark uh, templates, things like that. So lots of cool things here. So let's just say we were going to do a bookmark. We can grab this template. We would just, if we want to, go to the book template and we could add one. In fact, let's do like we were going to do one of your cover reveals. That would be kind of fun. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do you want to um, hide, the top or the bottom? Let's hide the uh, top so that they see the text, but they don't see the character yet. Okay, good idea. Hopefully it's hiding down far enough. We'll see. But you're not stuck. Yep. Okay. See, so that was kind of a neat idea. And then I would, you can resize with the slider um, or whichever you'd like. And then you could add your text, your author name. So you're clicking here. Um, I won't change all of them because we do have a lot to get through, but you could easily put it in here. Oops, I do need a space. You're not like a whole one namer. All right. <laughs> so then we could reduce that. And you could pick the font that's different. And if you just don't want any text, you could just delete that. Um, change it all easy peasy and, and save and download. Um, let me show you one with a book in it too. Let's go back over. Let's just look at Facebook ads for an example. Say you like this one, you come in here right where it says your book cover goes here. There's a swap covers at the top so you can drop your cover in. So easy. It is. And then you can, but you can change anything. It just gives you a starting point. So you don't feel like you've got this intimidating blank rectangle in here. Yeah. <laughs> then you can change anything you want here and download. And these are on the free plan too. So if you're wanting to test things out, but you don't know where to start, maybe try those community templates in there. All right. So any questions on any of those, let me know. 
No questions yet, but we're getting just some more um, excitement. Katie's saying, uh, these seem super straightforward. I love how the book cover auto fits and I don't have to stretch it awkwardly on Canva that never truly fits. So I've seen that Canva has like an option for that, but I agree, it never truly fits in the way you want it to. And another quick tip for um, resizing, what I tend to do is I just hold the shift key and drag, oops, and drag the corner. So it maintains something that's going crazy in there. Um, it will normally just, if you hold shift and drag, something's weird. I think I hit a quick key oh, in here. Yeah. But normally you can just resize, hold shift, and it maintains the aspect ratio, ratio for you and doesn't get what I would call wonky and like right. funny sized. Yes. So we have two other quick little things that live here in the custom creator, which are the video backgrounds and the animation. So I'm going to show you those just real quick. And those are on a paid plan, but we will just refresh like we're going to start new. I'm going to choose a Facebook ad. We'll go to book template and we'll just put a quick ebook in here. And I should mention, you can add as many books as you want to. So you can have multiple book covers if you're wanting to do a collage or if you have a series. Right. We're just doing just the one. So here's my hold shift and drag the corner. We'll do a quick text box. And the book is out, correct? The book is on pre-order, yes. Okay, so we'll put pre-order. We'll put this in here. And I'm gonna, I'm kind of in love with that. Um, Sinzel decorative. I feel like it suits mm. what we're doing here. Definitely. And I'm going to change this to black. Now we're going to go to background. Instead of searching for images, we're going to go to the center tab for videos. And we're going to do a video background effect. I'm totally doing smoke because I love smoke. Um, it, in here, I like smoke. Okay, so we'll go down. <laughs> Second image down, it's 10 seconds. And we'll push play. There's a play button now in the top stripe. And about two seconds in, this smoke rolls up and it can reveal your secret message. And you can still move and edit. So let me push play again. And you could move this around as the smoke rolls up or change, you know, how you would like that to be. But I love the look of this. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and then if you do that, um, you'll have a fourth option in your download. It will be an MP4. So anything with the video background effect will download as an MP4. And then let me show you animation real quick too. If you click your book cover, um, you can animate any element you want. We'll do the book cover. And if you click on the left to click add animation at the bottom and click see all 100 animations. These are kind of organized by the attention grabber. So I'm on the left, it's gonna bounce. It could flash. It could shake and then there are entrances and exits too so you could even have it um, like your text it could fade in left and fade out right if you want something like that i'm just gonna have your book pulse just to give it a little bit of something fun so we'll push play and now you've got that cool animation feature in there too funky i like it yep so um we now have in the last month or so changed it so folks on the paid plans have unlimited downloads of anything with animation and video background so you can get in there and create lots of fun things great all right so next we're headed to instant mock-ups um unless there are any other questions in here we will head nope. over people right. uh, people are just excited if you guys do have any questions definitely put them in the chat box because we're definitely taking them as we go along but i'm glad you guys are having fun with this awesome awesome um i love showing off the tools and playing with a new to me book cover too so we will go in the top stripe to tools on the far right and click tools and down to instant mock-ups so this is our most popular tool because it's all of these really great real life images that you can place your book in. We have over 1300. So I'm going to click show all, even though we can't get to all. Um, but when you see these images where folks are positioning their book with tea or a snack or by a pool, they probably didn't go set it up themselves. They use these type of mock-up images. So here's how easy it is. In step one on the left, we're going to choose um, the book so it's outlined. In step two you can filter but we're going to just skip that and we'll just click some ones in here. So I'm picking some images and highlighting around the edge here. It's so hard to choose but we'll pick a handful here. Yeah and I'll just say too that um, Anna is saying this makes me want to finish my manuscript and publish my book just so I can use this and I love that it's definitely super motivating and I would just say too you could have a mock cover 
you know, like a temporary cover you kind of put together yourself. Like I had one and I said temporary cover on the on the picture and um you could even play around and do some you know promoting of like this book is this is what i'm working on this is my work in progress it's going to be coming you know get excited so i still think you could play around with it even before your book is done just saying i totally think you could too although you might have so much fun you might not get back over there to writing so I that's true <laughs> um, so i'm going to make my screen a little smaller here because the stream yard was blocking my oops i have a convert now button at the bottom Oh. Yikes, which I can't seem to see when I'm in. Here we go. Step four. You can probably see it, but I could not. Okay, there we go. And so I selected a handful of mock ups. They take about four seconds per image to download. So I would um, probably not do like 200 if you're in a time crunch, but we did a handful here. And I can't wait to show you how easy these are. And this yeah. is why it's the most popular tool. Mm, it looks so good. And you guys are like adding new ones on a. Semi-regular basis, right? Uh, we add them monthly, and we have um, the general instant mockups that are gold plan and higher, and then we have some exclusive platinum level mockups too. So we'll talk about the plans, but after the free plan, there are three tiers. It's plus and gold and then platinum. So, yep, yeah, there's always new stuff coming in. Nice. We're That's getting exciting. close here. <laughs> I think I probably picked too many, but I didn't want you to miss out. So yeah. we'll No, I love it. Here. And I, um, I'll just pull up um, MK's uh, comment. I am working on them right now for my book that is coming out soon. So exciting. I can't wait to see these. Um, so if you guys actually want to share uh, what you end up working on, I know Book Brush um, also has a Instagram account called uh, Book Brush for Authors. And um, I also have my account, Author Brittany Wang. So if you guys want to tag us in your creations, I'm sure we'd love to see them. Absolutely. All right. So this was a zip file. I did a quick extract all for us. And let's take a look. Like I don't even own a hammock, so I wouldn't be able to set this up. But now here we go. We've got your book right Ooh, in like here. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And then, so hey, why not send your book on vacation right here? It's all lined up. So just easy way to put your book in these quick little real life images. So you can go straight from here to social media or what some folks do is they'll pull them into the tool we were just in as a background or an image. And then they can add a text box or some quick, um, you know, whatever stamps, things like that. Yeah. To personalize them a little bit. So those are instant mockups. Um, any questions on there before we head into, I think uh, we're going to do cover creator next. Yeah, we can go right into it. I think everybody's just enjoying it. Katie just uh, commented too and said, ah, don't mind me. I'll just keep freaking out over how awesome these are. <laughs> Thanks, All right, Katie. awesome. Well, we have more awesome things. So we will go to tools in the top stripe down to cover creator. And we actually added the cover creator because authors were using the, the tools to do the marketing images and said, hey, we would really like to be able to do covers too. So we have ebook, print and audio options in here. And this can really help you at any point in your marketing and writing journey. So you, we have folks who are designing their very first cover in here. We have folks who already have the ebook from their graphic designer, but they're doing the print wraparound in here. We also have folks who use a graphic designer, but they'll come in here because they have the vision and they'll kind of mock it up and then send it. So tons of ways to use this tool. I'm going to go into ebook and we'll just do a quick ebook cover together. We have Kindle, Kobo, Wattpad, and we added Kindle Vela here recently. So I'm going to click Kindle and then we'll do the steps on the left. I'm going to go to background and we're going to do something spooky. We'll see if my spooky and your spooky line up here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like this road could be, well, you want a forest? What do you think? <gasps> forest. Okay. A spooky forest. We'll try this one. And then I mentioned this eye icon before, but it's over here on the right hand side. And I'm going to drag this so you can pick your favorite part of the forest. Like there's a little, looks like a little pathway that's kind of cool. Yeah. And you can move that around. Um, then we're going to go to text on the left and add a new text box. Um, so obviously, um, I'm not like real proficient at naming, so we'll call it The Forest. If you need great tips for naming your book, just ask me, right? We'll do The Forest. And we'll pick a fun font and make it larger. And then I'm going to drag it so we've got it kind of centered in here. And we'll center it. And then if you've spent some time um, getting your, your perfect font and things like that, you can just duplicate it. There's a plus button in the lower left corner. So we can add a second one. 
and we'll get um, your book. Your This is your next book here. Brittany Wang, you'll be our author. I love it. And so I'm going to make this smaller. And then this is where I'm going to wow you with one more tool we have called background removal. And this uses artificial intelligence to peel the background away from an image with a person, an animal, a product, or a vehicle. So basically, you can create something that didn't exist before. So here, what I think we need on this cover is some kind of person. So we'll go to background on the left. And then we'll do back like a back of a person will be our search here. And so how this works, um, as you go down here, let's try this girl that's on the dock. The third one down on the right, there are three little dots in the image. So we can click that and I'm going to click remove background. And the magic is happening. So instead of being in the thumbnail on the left, she's going to get ready to join our spooky adventure in the forest here. I'll take just a minute. Exciting. Yeah. And actually, um, let's see, Anna was just asking, does BookBrush um, have stock pictures to make the fake cover? So yes, hopefully this is answering your question, Anna. And I love that the background is gone now. That's so cool. Yeah. So here she is. So she is now going to do a new adventure. And there's those little dots to layer or arrows to layer with in the lower right corner. So I'm going to send her kind of behind here. And then she's going to live in here like an image so we can double click. She can have a filter to make it a little bit different looking. Um, I would probably click the background and also do maybe the same filter. So it's got that same look and feel. And you could still move your forest around, potentially a little bit of a blur. We could take her and blur a little bit too. Um, anyway, look how quickly we just kind of mocked up and create our first little cover. Um, I would suggest using the zoom in and zoom out on the lower right to kind of get a feel for how your readers would see it as a thumbnail. And then you could um, sanity check yourself there um, and then save as a project. And you can save it right into covers if you're satisfied with it and start creating your marketing images. So um, earlier when you mentioned kind of like a teaser, like coming soon, you could create that in here if you're not ready to reveal your full cover, too. Yeah. And you could also create, I was just, um, I just realized Katie was mentioning that I created like a, a notebook through Shutterfly and put my cover on here, but I also have a version with my mock cover. So even if you just want to like inspire yourself and you're not going to share it with a lot of other people, you can put like, you know, a temporary cover that you're putting, if you're making it here temporary and you're, you want to then show it to your cover designer, you can then put it uh, on here for now and then use it as a notebook to like do all your, your book planning. That would be so cool. And keep yourself like it, it enthusiastic about the whole thing because you're looking at it. So that would be fun. Mm -hmm. um, now, the, there was a question about the stock photos and things. And so I also kind of want to answer that with our um, templates, too. So if you right. click on the left to the templates, we have all of these community templates put together by our graphic designer. And you can filter on the left by either ebook, print or audio. I'm going to leave that there. Um, so we don't miss anything and you could also filter by genre so cool i don't know i hate to even narrow this down too because i don't want anybody to miss anything but we'll scroll through here and what's great about these is you can look at things in your genre and then kind of tweak it how it would work for you but it gives you a good idea of what goes where um yeah. in that so if you pick one like let's do this one here just to grab, you're gonna change everything about it. So each of these text boxes can move. You can look what's outside the area, change anything. You could actually delete that entire background, but it gives you a starting point. So you're not just with this blank slate thinking where to put things. So yeah. feel free to try out those um, community templates in there. Yeah, I really appreciate those. Cause sometimes, yeah, you're just like, I don't have a vision yet, but then you see something and you're like, oh, I can tweak this and do that. And it won't look like anybody else's because you are you will take it over. You know, you'll get in there and you'll change all the things about, but yet you just felt like you had a good starting point. Yeah. So um, feel free to try those out. Um, I will show you at the end too. I have separate sessions that I teach on one tool at a time and one is Cover Creator 101. So if you're wanting to get a lot more down and dirty with what you can do with these tools um, and those are free, you know, you can sign up for that because we don't hardly have time to get into all the things in here. Right. Yeah, there's a whole um, library of those webinars. I was like, I didn't even know this was here. This is so cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just show you real quickly in print, for example, if you're wanting to do print, it, there are a little more questions. So you'll choose your trim size. 
let's say it was five by eight and a half, and you'll choose your paper type, which most of the time is cream for the folks who are doing non or fiction. Nonfiction is usually white. And then say our page count will be 300 and click submit. Now we have the perfect size, so we'll just move things, but you know that your spine is the right size for a book that's going to be five by eight and a half, 300 pages of cream. So you've got this, um, and you can move your background around, resize, and work on building your print cover. So lots of choices in there and ways to personalize it. Um, and then the option here on the left, too, to add your covers. If you're someone who has the front cover done and you want to bring that in, you could do it here and then use the tools to create your print wraparound if you need yeah. to do that, too. All right, so that's the cover creator. Um, next, we're gonna do the book trailers, if you're ready for that one. Yes, would love to Okay, see that. so we'll go to the top stripe for tools and the trailer creator. And we have um, community templates, pretty much in each tool you'll find community templates. And these are a great way to um, get started without having to do all the work. The work is kind of done for you. So I'm gonna click on one and just show you what we've got. Um, before we click get started, I wanna play it for you. So there's a play button on the left and it's about 38 seconds. So we'll just play and you can see your first book trailer in here. All right, so we'll pause it there. Um, the rest is just the last of the screen, but how cool that you can create book trailers in here um, to market your book. Definitely. So here's how, how you can kind of easily modify. You'd click the Get Started button at the bottom and you simply work your way across. So at the lower left, it says Trailer Elements. And the first thing highlighted is this music note. And then it just says underneath, um, keep this music or replace it. So we have over 100 types of commercial free music over here and you can search around. So there's bright, emotional, epic, romantic, all these different things, dark, and you can push play and see what you think. That could work for you depending what you're doing. Let's do another one. That one started pretty quiet. I need something loud. Let's go to another <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, so we'll try that one. It's the at the bottom. It says surface. So we'll click the plus and you can get that confirmation. It was replaced. Cool. You'll click next at the bottom and then you just work your way across replacing. So this is a video. So on the left, you can replace with either videos that you search or save or with images. So I feel like I want to try like wings and see what we get for video. Um, I don't want anything. Yeah, usually, unfortunately, when I search wings, it's always like birds, and I'm like, no. Um, what do you think we should search? Um, if you search like ocean or something, okay. I think that 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 would totally mesh with like the pirate vibe. All right. Ooh, like well, the third one, third one down to the left. Like that's that. the one I was looking at. Okay, so we'll put that in. Then we'll click next, and then you could change your text. You can change on the left, um, the font, all the things. I'm just going to change it to like the Sinzel because I liked how it worked with yours, but I'm going to leave the passage as it is. Yep. Um, we'll click next, and then let's find a different video in here. We'll try this other one here just for something different. Okay. And then we could change this text. So you literally just work your way across and change and update and that one was kind of big so we'll make it larger click next so you can also do we search videos you can search static images so those also are nice and we can try ocean here and i want to try one so you'll see it just is going to have the animation behind it so we'll do this one we'll change this one here switch this one out with a picture did it click there we go. And we'll swap our book. And then we'll check out our handiwork here. Cool. It's taking just a second here. I do think when you're not streaming live, you'll have a little better 
better. Right. Well, I, make this I always cool. experience that too. Yes. I, I right, would say so. that uh, everybody's really excited about the trailers. Katie says, that's so cool. What doesn't book brush do? <laughs> uh, we, we have it all, everything you need in your marketing toolbox right here. Okay. So let's push play for this one and see how we did. And you can keep editing so we can move it over if we need to. Oh, you can edit it while it's... Oh, mm -hmm. Yep, so we could say, oh, we like this up here better. Yeah. Good music. I like the music. That turned out really nice, yeah. Yeah. Done. <laughs> So really, that suits your book as far as, of course, somebody who didn't read it pretty well. Um, and you have a quick book trailer. And um, so the last two were just images with an animation behind them that as moving instead of an actual video clip. So let me show you what's happening behind the scenes. We're in easy mode at this little top area. If you click advanced, you'll see behind the scenes, our media specialist does all these things. So the passages are set up to do things like hide and zoom in and hide again. And so you're getting the easy easy mode where you just put in the things that you want and um, you don't have to do all this extra work. Yeah. You can click back to easy mode. You can add things and you can um, toggle back and forth between advanced and easy if you want to, but um, it should be pretty easy for you to take any of these types of templates and personalize it really to anything. You could choose romancy images, sci-fi, children's and suit your music to it and get something that will work. Yeah. And you can also, I forget if you already said this, but I just wanted to mention if you have your own music, right, you can even upload it. Yes. Um, and, yeah. and I don't even want you to be limited to music. So when you're in this music um, note tab here, the last tab on the left is my music. So you can upload music, but think of it as an audio file. So we had an author who posted a sample one that she created and she posted it in our Facebook group. And it was, she was reading a passage from her book and it was super awesome because she had this great Scottish accent. So it really lent a lot of um, depth to the whole thing, but you know, so it could be an audio file too, not just music. Music. That Tons is cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is on the top plan. Um, this is on the platinum plan. But if you have that plan, you can do unlimited number of book trailers for yourself. That's awesome. So, any questions on there? We actually had a question about um, back when you were doing uh, covers. Do you mind me asking that question? Go right ahead. Yep, mm -hmm. we can hop back. Awesome. Um, Jennifer was asking, if you create your print cover in Book Brush, can you then upload it to Kindle as your cover if you wanted to? So it would actually be like the full wrap that that like Kindle or Ingram Spark or whatever would print. And I'm guessing the answer is yes. Yep. We've had a lot of folks with success stories who did create their print cover in here. And then, of course, you're going to probably download that as a PDF and then upload it. So, yep, they sure do. You just would want to make sure um, that you've got your edges all the way covered so it's the right size, not like a little strip of white. But you can do that easily. And then, yeah, you'd be able to do it right in here for yourself. So cool. Yeah. All right. We have one tool left, which is the box set creator. So we'll go into tools and box set creator. Yeah, this is great for those of us that are writing series. Absolutely. So I think that a lot of times folks spend a lot of money um, on having a designer do this and you could do it yourself. So we found out when we had authors beta testing our tools that a lot of folks had the cover but did not have the spine image. So we ended up creating a way to do spines. So on the left where it says choose a box set, underneath there's a question that says, do you need to create a spine first? And you probably do. So we'll click that. And then I'm going to go to the center tab on the left section for community templates. Seriously, this is the way to go. Just use a community template. Um, so we'll look through here. Our graphic designer puts these together. I think Give I found the one with the moon there. Um, I think you just passed it. Right Try this there. one. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Um, so we'll click, and you can also add your 2D cover. So if you want your cover on the spine, we could grab that. Did it go? And we can put that in here. And everything's totally editable, so we can move this around. Um, is it Wings of Betrayal? Yeah. Oh, that's tiny. I can't hardly see. Okay. <laughs> My poor old eyeballs. Okay. okay. And then if you want to change, I keep going for the Sinzel one. I feel like yes. I like it with your... Um, cover. 
I think that's perfect. Yep. And so if you like the cover, you don't, you know, it's on here, this would just be an idea. And then you save, I always tell people, save it as a project. So this is going to be spine number one, and then we need to download it in a spine. So we're going to download it right in here, save in book brush into spines. And do you want me to, oops, my cover moved on that one. Um, I'm going to name your book two, um, sure. Wings of Hope is coming out next. Sure. <laughs> All right. So for just, we'll call it that, then we'll take the, the one is going to be book two, um, you're not committed to naming it that if it doesn't pan out. But yeah. we'll really <laughs> it's all good. Real title coming soon. Yes, yes. And so we'll save this one into spines. So we've quickly done those two. We'll just make it a two book set. So we'll go to the left for box sets. And they, there's a thinner or a thicker one. I'll choose the thicker one. And it can actually be from two all the way up to 10 here. So you've got all those choices. We just made two. So we're going to click on the two. And then you're going to assemble it. So it's calling for spine number one. So we'll just click on what we made. And then it calls for spine number two. So we'll add that. And then since in this case, <clears throat> it's a two book set, the third image is going to be your cover. Hmm. So we're on the spines tab. So we're going to click next door on the covers tab and put our cover on there. And you could use the cover creator that we were just in to design something that would be uh, represent your whole box set, too. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. OK, so here's what you would do. Save it into BookBrush into my images so that you can create marketing images with it mm -hmm. and then save to your computer and check it out. I'm ready oh. for you to write book two here. There we go. Yeah. Um, so the box is not actually being created, but you've got your marketing image and we've had a lot of folks report in that they were able to upload this to um, places that they want to sell their books as a set. And then they can sell, you know, the eBooks and things and they've got the image that shows here it is. Yeah. So no longer do you need to pay your um, designer all kinds of money to do it. You can do it yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So those are all of our tools here. I'm going to show you a couple things. Um, I want to show you the plans real quick. Yep. And then if there's more questions, I'm all up for questions. After the free plan where you can create and do the 15 images for free, you if you decide you want to upgrade, there's the plus gold and platinum and they're paid yearly plus starts at 99 a year and these are single author plans but if you have other pin names and things that's fine don't worry about that those are allowed okay. and then plus includes everything in that custom creator so you've got all the animation and the video backgrounds and the cover creator then gold is the most popular because it adds on those instant mockups that are awesome and the box set creator and then platinum, if you would treat yourself to platinum, has that trailer creator. And then some platinum mock-ups, so those are extra premium for those folks. And 10 background removal credits per month for that too. Nice. So those are the plans. Then I want to go to the account page. So I'm in a platinum plan, but if you um, are on free or anything, you'll see a section that says free webinars and it says more webinars, learn more here. And we have these different sessions. They're free. So if you are wanting to learn more about any of these, um, sign up for those. They're recorded and things so you can jump in and learn a little bit more, get comfortable and ready to use the tools. Yeah, they're really helpful. All right. So anything else? Um, I have a coupon code to show you and then I can also give you the screen back. Yeah. OK, yes. I'm going to go. Do you have questions? Oh, no. Go ahead. Okay. Go first. I'll go into the custom creator. So it's nice because you can create things ahead of time. So I saved the coupon code on a template. Oh, oh and I had one other surprise for you. Sometimes you can do I added the book cover as the background for an ad oh, for you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I like so that. this is literally just your book cover in here. Right. And this lets you create an ad that's not going to look like anybody else's because it's your book cover. So right. consider doing that and then add some text and things. Love it. All right. And so our coupon code is Miss Brittany, Brittany 15. So this is going to be a 15% lifetime discount on any new paid plan. And then I put a little extra special, except for I got my day wrong. It's Thursday. Today's Tuesday. If that's you nice. would... Yikes. Um, 
If you use this by Thursday, I will also give you 15 free background removal credits. Um, just a little extra incentive. However, the coupon code won't expire, so you don't need to rush. Um, if you want to use it later on, that would be fine. So it's Brittany15. Yes. All right. So I'm going to unshare unless there's anything else that we want to look at in here. I think that's good. And I can always bring you back if we have like a specific question. All right. Awesome. And I'm going to um, just open the floor just for a couple minutes. If you guys have any additional questions, now would be the time to ask. Um, and as you guys are typing, or if you just want to let Kathleen know how much you enjoyed this, if there was like a favorite feature you're excited to check out, put that in the chat too. We'd love to hear. Um, but I'm going to put the coupon code on the screen one more time if you guys want to check it out. Uh, all the links that we talked about are in the um down in the description too. And I just want to give a huge thank you to Kathleen for spending time with us. So if you guys just want to put like, thank you, Kathleen, in the chat, um, we really appreciate you being here. And I always um, want to thank my YouTube members and my patrons because you guys are amazing and supporting my channel. And a quick just reminder too, that Wings of Betrayal is out on pre-order, it is on Amazon. And if you would like to um, pre-order and fill out my pre-order giveaway, you'll also get four free early chapters uh, right now. Well, I'm going to send the first batch out tomorrow. So um, if you're excited about that, um, that is linked down below along with my uh, sign up for my ARC and street team. If you're excited about that and want to check that out, um, that will officially launch next week. But I'm letting you guys in on it a little early if you want to um, check that out. So um, let us know if you got any questions and we will be here uh, to answer them. We've got a bunch of people just really excited. Um, I do see, oh, I see a question from Alan. Can you duplicate images in uh, cover design? So can you add the same picture twice, I think is what they're asking. Yep, you sure could. So for example, um, where we did that background removal and we had that person, you could then add her multiple times and it won't cost you another credit. Um, it's just that one time that it's going to be in my images. So maybe she's got a ghost. I don't know. You could have her on there as many times as you want. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Great question. I love it. And we've just got some shout outs. Thank you for um, taking time to share with us, says Gabriella. And everybody's just very, very thankful. I'm looking to see if there's any more questions. Yes, Gabrielle, I saw that Alan had a question. So we got to answer that one. And awesome. I'll just wait another second or two. Is there anything else that we should know about book brush? I'm trying to think if there are any other like little uh, tidbits that I that I loved besides the ones that you already shared. But I think you covered like so much and like <laughs> You can do a ton of different things. Um, if you are wanting to learn more about one of the tools, joining those free sessions, because we do go in depth more because we had a lot to fit in today for yes. to, to take. So buckle up for this. But, you know, if, that, if we went fast, which I know we probably did, that would be a chance for you to get a refresher. Definitely. And you can you guys, I always tell you, you can like speed up our videos um, here on the channel so that if you are watching on the replay and you want to get through it a little faster, um, you can always uh, go to little gear at the bottom. And I've seen the webinars that Kathleen has and you can also speed those up a little bit if you're kind of tight on time. Sweet. All right. I don't see any new questions coming in. So I think we are good. You just encapsulated everything, Kathleen. You're amazing. So thank, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. And I know everybody else that's watching appreciates it too. And if you guys find that you have other questions in the future, again, uh, book brush, uh, for authors on Instagram. They have an account there. You can also leave comments down below. I'm sure you can email Kathleen or there's like a help. Um, yep. On the questions. the same page where we were talking about those classes and things, there's a contact form and you can send us a note on there. Um, it may be me answering, not always, but somebody will get back to you. So if you aren't sure what, you, you know, question anything, let us know. We'll jump in and help. Awesome. Cool. Well, we're going to sign off, guys. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. We hope these tools uh, that you'll be excited to check out. Remember, discount code is down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. All right. Thank you.